right guys, before I show you this on the rifle itself, I wanted to take just a couple of minutes here really quickly and let you know the operation of this light and laser. Here's the light right here, and here's the laser. It is a red laser, and this is brand new from Olight. It's called the PL-2 Valkyrie. And this is 1500 lumens, and guys, it is really, really extremely bright. It has the uh, soft pressure pad right here, and we'll get over that when I we'll, we'll get on with that when I put it on the rifle. Uh, I want to show you though the operation. So basically, um, if this toggle switch right here, let's zoom in here, get you a better shot. If this is in the center, you're going to get both laser and light. Don't know if you can see the laser, but right there it is on the black. You're going to get both laser and light if it's in the center. If the toggle switch is to the left, you are going to get laser only. The toggle switch is all the way to the right. Of course, you will get the white light 1500 lumen only. Very bright, guys. Kind of blows my Surefire X300 Ultra out of the water as far as brightness and lumens goes. As far as durability, I have no idea yet. I'd have to test that. So it does have the latch lever right here. I really like this. So when you put it on the gun, you press in like this, and it'll go on the rail, and then you flip the lever, and it locks on. Now, to the best part. Let's show it on the rifle. All right, guys, and here it is on one of my favorite rifles of all time, the DDM4 V11. Uh, so many upgrades to this rifle. One of, the, one of the most notable is the Elftman 3-gun trigger, um, also known as the Elf trigger. Runs on needle bearings in two places. Uh, one of the most amazing triggers, guys, I've ever messed with. Um, Ambi Geisley charging handle. Uh, Surefire comp on the end here to reduce any kind of recoil there would be. I love this thing. Haley St Strategic uh, Thorntail Offset Light Mount. Uh, Vickers Sling. You can let loose on the slack and have some room to come up and drive with this thing right here, or you can tighten it back down and keep it close to the body uh, when you're on patrol or whatever you're doing. Uh, EOTech. Guys, this I love this thing. It's got the bad lever on there. Um, it's got the, uh, yeah, whoops, I didn't mean to hit myself there. <laughs> That'll wake you up real quick. Uh, it's, it's got the Daniel Defense foregrip on there, guys, and there's probably some other things that I'm not even remembering right now, but that's okay. I've done a video on this rifle before. If you want to know what this is, this is my Glock 17 Larry Vickers, and it has the Surefire X300 Ultralight and the Bravo concealment uh, over the waistband holster. Very awesome. Okay, guys, so now to what we were talking about originally in this video, which is going to be pertaining to, I'm going to have to readjust these slings now that I lost all this weight, <laughs> but it's pertaining to the light here. So here it is on the front, and basically I put this four grip right here. Uh, not for sure yet if it's going to stay there, but it feels pretty comfortable to me. Uh, I, I plan on going with a Haley light, but for right now I'm going to use this light, this O light. It's very solid, very secure. It's built pretty much like my Surefire 300 Ultra. I'm not saying it's the same quality. I'm not saying it's the same durability, but as far as construction and materials, it's about as close to that Surefire as you're going to get. So uh, here it would be with just the laser coming out of the end, which is what I'm going to use it for. Basically, guys, I am going to sight this in. That, so that the laser is going to be uh, close quarters and the EOTech is going to be mid to far range. So I can put the laser on and have it for close quarters combat use and then the EOTech will still be long range. I've got the backup. These are just plastic mag pools. Um, I want to get some new sights definitely and put on there. But for right now, I'm loving this, guys. Also, the Ambi Seekins Precision Ambi safety selector probably i would have to say one of the best safety selectors that i have ever tried before i just love these somebody had given me one a really good subscriber of mine you know who you are i don't want to i'm not going to say this guy's name 
uh, just for security reasons of who he is. But um, you know who you are that sent me this, and I love them. I put them on. I put them on every AR that I own. Very nice quality, very easy to put on, and I just couldn't be happier with the Seekins Precision Ambi Safety. So me shooting left, it really comes in handy for me. But guys. I think this is going to work out, this Olight Valkyrie, and I just, I, I just really can't tell you enough how much I like this rifle and how happy I am with the quality of Daniel Defense. I may be getting out this next Saturday and getting some shooting in and doing some things like that. Maybe I will get some video for you guys. It just depends. I like to enjoy the range, so we'll see what happens. I was trying not to go real long with this video, guys, so I'm going to try to stick with that thought, but... Yeah. So I don't know if I told you or not. I think I got off subject there. But basically, when my hand is right here, there's two pressure pads, okay? My thumb is going up here. It's comfortable to use this foregrip as a wedge with the back of my hand against and then come up with this thumb and press the pressure pad. Now, how this pressure pad works is... Touch and go for steady on and hold any, any, any past one split second and then it'll, when you release it goes off, which is very tactically minded uh, for this light to have. And what I mean by that is if you're clearing a house, a building, etc., and you're really in a risky situation where that light could be do or die by an enemy seeing where your position is, if you're holding this pressure pad down, you want to think as little as possible if, if there's a reason why you have to turn this light off. And the, the quickest thing that you can do is just release the thumb. So you have to literally tap it just a split second here, if I can get it, like that, to turn it on. But if you hold it any longer than that split second, it's going to go off. And that is very, very smart. I really like that idea. Never had thought of that. A lot of the light companies that have weapons lights are going to this. Because like I said, if you're walking around, you're clearing something, you're going down a hallway, and you hear something, and you need that light to go off immediately, your quickest reaction is to let up the thumb. That's going to be the quickest reaction. Um, if you get startled, if this was constant on, and you got startled, let's say it's constant, the slowest thing for you, for you to do when you're getting startled is going to be to reach around and hit this button with the adrenaline flowing and get that back off. The easiest thing to do is to just let the thumb go back and off. So very ingenious way to run a light if you need it to go off quickly. So there it is, guys. Let me know what you think. Uh, let me know if you have a Daniel Defense and what you think of it. All right, guys. I'll be back with you real soon with more videos. This is DOF, Defender of Freedom. And I'm out.